Hello and welcome to this Terrain Composer Getting Started video tutorial. After your purchase Terrain Composer, you have to click the import button on the asset store. Once clicked you get the import package window and you have to click import. Terrain Composer is important now in the Terrain Composer folder and you have to make sure that in your console you have no errors otherwise Terrain Composer won't be compiled and it won't be visible in the menu. Once Terrain Composer is imported and compiled you can start it in the Unity menu window and then Terrain Composer. World Composer is also in here and in here in Terrain Composer but normally if you buy Terrain Composer World Composer isn't in it so in Terrain Composer you'll see some icon buttons in the top and also the help icon. If you click the help icon you'll get the getting started or the start window and in there is the main manual, the, the link to my website to the tutorial videos, the forum, Terrain Composer forum and also if you have World Composer, the World Composer manual and otherwise the link to World Composer and also the link to RTP form and here you will have to download the example package and also the tutorial package but I'm going to download the uh, example package now and I will show you the um, example window after downloading you can click import and we click import and then uh, a second folder is created named Terrain Composer Examples and there uh, all the example assets will be placed in. I use uh, free assets from the bootcamp demo from Unity so there's trees in there, grass, splat textures, rocks and they can be used for free. After importing the example package we have to click to start examples. You can click this help away then um, Train Composer gives a warning that you have to save your Train Composer project first. You can do that in File, Save. Because if you have something in here and you will uh, click to create terrains or start, it will override your project. So now we can uh, start uh, choosing the terrain resolution. So we leave it on default like 512, terrain tiles 2x2. Two two. So I click Create Terrains. then we can see the terrains over here and we can see it's a 2x2 two two. So, and uh, you can click to create lighting that will uh, put in a skybox, directional light, wind zone, it will set the mist and the ambient light then if I click on reload it will um, load the project and I can click on start and Terrain Composer starts generating. In the meantime we can put the first controller in the scene and you can also keep continue working if you have a uh, Terrain Composer. So let's place it a little bit up. Let's put on a directional light. Yes, that looks better. So Terrain Composer placed first stones and then trees because um, in the uh, tree layer we can see that over here it's doing a raycast and this makes sure the raycast is over here and I will explain uh, all the the filters and masks in uh, further videos is to make sure that um, the raycast is to make sure that no tree is placed inside a stone but you don't have to look in these um, layers yet you can Customize it all by these sliders. So let's hit play and see how it looks. I recorded this in a build in runtime because in the editor I use a much lower frame rate to keep the video size small. The nice thing about this terrain composer procedural approach is that it almost takes no disk space. The whole terrain, everything is generated on the fly and the project is only 1.1 megabytes. Can you imagine what you can create in runtime with it? Let's go to height map here 
and uh, let's disable the drawing in um, the editor because your scene can get a little bit slow the unity editor but that's because of the grass and the trees now it is fast again and you can set uh, settings in editor and runtime in Train Composer. Let's randomize the height map, the trees, and then we choose a different uh, different setup because I have in every project I have forest, jungle, and desert. So now let's uh, click start again, and we get a totally different. Height map, different splat map, different texturing, and more deserty like setup. Now let's take a look at runtime again. And this is all again procedurally, it can be uh, changed on the fly, also on the fly in runtime. And it's all Unity default terrain shader. You can get the triple A quality if you would uh, use RTP3 with it. And um, RTP3 and Terrain Composer can be both used in runtime to also generate on the fly. You can make a very large terrain of like 10 by 10 tiles. Of course, there's a memory limit in the editor. But in runtime, um, there's not such limitation if you make a 60 bit version. So then you can go even beyond um, what is possible in a Unity editor. So there's four more examples in there. And I uh, recommend you to uh, take a look around. And uh, for example, um, if you click hide map, there's a summary of um, settings you can change. And this is all visible in the layer also. So if I do uh, less mountain strength, you can see the strength moving there and you can generate them uh, one by one so now I do the height map with less mountain strength you should be able to see some difference here and if we go to splat you can uh, take a look in the desert uh, splat map and now I've generated five by five tiles so 25 terrains total and then I use the Island example to show you how you can uh, make water in Unity. You go to Assets and then Import Package. And if you have Unity Pro, you can uh, import the water here. And otherwise you have to um, import water free. You get the Import Package and then you click Import. Then we search for water then place the the daylight water prefab into the scene you see it's very small go to inspector we reset its position we put it at altitude 50 meters and you have to scale the X and the Z very big now that's maybe too big like 10,000 and there we can see the water spreading let's take a look how this um, the island example looks so this is the uh, island example in runtime. Every asset uh, in this demo included with Terrain Composer you can use for uh, free in your game. Also the uh, example projects themselves you can use for free. So uh, if you want unique landscape you just randomize the offsets and then you get unique uh, results. and it is uh, quite big this is already uh, this is a very small part of the whole terrain so this is um, the example wizard I hope you like it and thank you for watching